This is why I do not ask people for help. I have two pallets of flooring. Each box weighs 23 pounds. I've taken two in. I have a dolly from work, which will make it easier, but I thought, you know, if I could get my son out here maybe, he could help me bring them in between the dolly and between me taking a box or two in. He's real busy. Ask me why I don't ask for help. I'm gonna film me taking this in so y'all can be entertained. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're doing some hard work because no one wants to help. Reason number one why I don't ask for help. weigh 23 pounds a piece, that's all. That's where I'll be for the next two hours. <laughs> The dog is losing his mind. I am losing some fat, I'm quite sure. I've brought in about half a pallet, maybe? No. I think I have two and a quarter. I don't know. Anyway, I brought in that much, if you can see it. We'll look at it in a minute. But this is why I don't ask people for help. <laughs> They're unreliable when you need them. I'm going to get a big gulp, a soda. We getting jacked, buddy. Right up there is my mellow yellow. Now back to work. I got a Gatorade and that's in the fridge. My dear sweet friends, when I tell you this was no easy task, I am telling you this is no easy task. And what's funny is the guy that dropped it off forgot to call me before he dropped it off. And I was on my way to the bank to make a deposit to put down on my credit card. And he calls and says, I'm in front of your house. He's like, you didn't get inside delivery? I said, well, I thought that's what they did. And he said, no, not unless you ask for it. And I said, oh, he said, do you want me to, you know, wait here for you to get back so I can help you take it in? I was like, oh my gosh, that would be wonderful. I said, I have a dolly and everything that I borrowed from work, you know, to make the process easier. I said, I'll be home, you know, in about 10, 15 minutes. He said, okay, let me call my supervisor and see if she will, you know, let me do that. 
And he said, there might be a charge. Oh, look, I'm dying. I'm, mm. And I was like, you know what? We'll just, we'll just deal with the charge, okay? I'm already paying for delivery. I don't know why I paid for delivery when the delivery for all of my items was to my front area of the parking lot where I park. I, mm, what? They did it with forklift. I had to bring it all in by hand, piece by piece by piece. Just like when I order furniture, all the furniture that I've ordered and put together in this house, which is 99% of it, I couldn't pick up the whole box. I'd just open the box and bring in a couple pieces at a time. But mm, 63 boxes at 24 pounds each. Mm, yeah, that's a bit much, okay? Here is where I am saying to you, Will Thompson, thank you so much for allowing me to have Dolly Madison for the day because without her, this would have been twice as hard. Uh, it was quite exhausting, very much so hard work, but, you know, I got it done and I'm hurting. But I'm darn proud that I was able to get it all done. I hope you guys are enjoying watching my slow death as I enjoyed dying my slow death. Would you like to say anything, Pookie? Mm -hmm. You want to say anything? Say hello to everyone. All right, let's get back to the video, okay? I have one more box and I'm done. Just unload these four. No one more. No! Let's round up this video with a quick haul. I went to um, Home Depot and I told them that I wanted to be able to waterproof my um, baseboards, that those pine boards, and then paint them a white satin paint. So he suggested this... Verathane, I don't know why I'm laying it down. Verathane Ultimate Polyurethane Water Based. It has scratch resistance, durability, fastest dry time. I got it in satin. He said this is the best stuff for like pets and things. Then I got Bare Ultra Stain Blocking Paint and Primer in the satin enamel. And it's just white. So he said for me to go ahead and put this on and start painting 
and hopefully I'll be done by the time they arrive to put my floors in. But also, this is what's great. He gave me the spouts, and you use the spout to take this off, and then when you pull that off, you put this on, and it pours out of there, and you don't have paint all down. You can't... Uh, so excited. So excited. Duh. All right. So I got those. And then I got a bunch of one, two, two of, yes, two of the um, plates because I just painted these black but if I wipe my walls down or anything that paint just comes off and I want these outlets themselves to be black so I got two of these with two of these to switch out then oh I got three of them I don't know if I got three plates but whatever I can go back for another one then I got this one uh, to put up here because again I just painted it and sorry I just painted it and it can wipe off so I was like well I could just put a black one there and call it a day uh, then I got these are called three gang plates um, the gangs this is one gang two gangs three gangs and I got toggle lights or um rocker light things to put on you know behind it and so I got enough to do this light switch this light switch then um I'm going to replace that outlet And this outlet and then um, this one is a GFI which is just a one of those tester reset safety ones so I got one of those in black and a plate in black to re replace that so black and you know this very dark color will be my um, accent colors so those will be black instead of white. The baseboards will be white. The shoe molding, which is this right here, will be um, the same color as my floors. So, it's coming right along, folks. Oh yeah, and at the end of my $200 trip to get paint and lights, um, which yes, I did watch a YouTube channel and it showed me how to do it and it's it's, yeah, it's easy um there's my gfi and then i got like t nine or ten of these toggle switches because i think i've got enough to do let's see one two i got a pack of three of them because i thought on this other side there was three but it's broken up so i don't need that three there I'll look upstairs. I might need it in my... Yeah, I will need it in my room. So I can use that one in my room. But then I got the two toggle lights for um, the steps and then the toggles. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend. 63 boxes of flooring that I brought in, each weighing about 24 pounds. My arms hurt. I have a bruise that's popping up right here from where I would hit it with my leg to get the box to move up. It's fine. Everything's fine. Got a little scraped up from the um, pallet. I took that to the dump, but all of this is in. It is all beautiful. This is what it's going to look like. Wide planks that looks like real wood. It is the High traffic, rigid core, vinyl plank flooring in fresh oak, extreme scratch resistance, antimicrobial, lifetime protection of flooring from microbes such as mold or mildew, 
22 mil wear layer, wide width planks, waterproof underlayment attached, easy click lock installation, lifetime residential warranty. Okay, I'm going to go eat some pizza, drink my Gatorade, and then we'll take a couple of planks out and look at it. She's beautiful, and she's mine, my beautiful flooring. I just think that is so pretty. It just looks like real wood. It has the little noddies. It has the feel of like actual wood. Ugh. Let's lay a few out on the floor and see what it's going to look like. Just two planks, just to show how rustic and beautiful it is. I absolutely love it. Much lighter than the flooring I have now, which will help my home to feel more airy, open, could not be more pleased. Mm. Love it. I also want to show you how battered and bruised I am from bringing all of these in. <laughs> we have a nice little bruise popping up here. We have some scratches here and here from the palette. We have swollen fingers that hurt. We have a bruise here. We have a bruise here. Don't know if you can see that because apparently I don't know how to stand on one leg. Here, it has a bump underneath too. So that, you know, that one's a little sore. Um, that was the best time of my life. As you can tell, I've had a soda and I'm a little jacked up. <laughs> now I'm on, I've had some pizza and some Gatorade, so yeah, it hurts to close my hand. I got a little scrape there. I just pulled the skin off. It's fine. It'll grow back. Um, so I think I'm going to take a couple of these planks and lay them out on my hallway upstairs and see just how beautiful it's going to be. <laughs> She's so beautiful. She's going to be so beautiful. Let's look at her next to my painted wall. It's gonna be so beautiful. You see that gray in it right there? That's why I chose the black gray to bring out those little colorings. You see how it has the blacks and the gray? Well, more of a gray but to really enhance those. That's why I want all of my trim to be this deep charcoal carbon gray. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'd love to have you on this journey we call life. Until the next one, guys, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. We got to say bye-bye, boo-boys. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.